All right, hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome back to Hollow Knight. So, a lot of people, yeah, so we've got a whole area right here that we haven't gotten to, and we can either get to it via the jellyfish area or this, like, side path there that I've missed. However, I think we should probably... How do we get over here? Um... I want to I want to find that deep nest boss. Uh, a lot of people were saying it was down here near the hot spring. I'm just trying to figure out the easiest way to get to it. I guess we go to Queen Station and go from there. Cuz uh I I know I've been taking this really slow comparatively. I'm just I'm trying to get everything. Uh this game is very hard and um it's kind of kicking my ass. It's kind of it's kicking my ass in like a relatively positive manner. I'm uh, I know it seems like I suck at this game, and I probably do compared to like some better people. Um, but I I feel I feel happy with my progress and so on and so forth. But um, ow, 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 ow. um, didn't get the thing. All right, whatever. All right. Um, but yeah, I I feel happy with my progress and you know growth and whatever. Really, I wonder if I, uh, I could find a map actually of just where all of the. Uh, I should do that. Uh, just a, a map where all of the uh, all of the stagways are. I don't even need a map for anything else; just a map for something. But yeah, so I, I feel like I've been making some pretty good progress here in this game, ish. Uh, n especially now that we have like the damage upgrades, uh, it's making my life a lot easier. Uh, it's just a matter of, you know, getting through and, you know, not, not missing anything major. And I can guarantee you that I have missed so much. All right, yep. We are going the right way. We could go into the Queen's, Queen's Garden. I think somebody said it was the Queen's Garden. We could get into there if we wanted to. I'm just not sure if I'm confident for that yet. Oh, I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? No, I'm going the right, right-ish way. Well, I guess we could always stick our head in and just take a look. Oh, yeah, I remember coming this way. We had this pit, and then we had this, like, door over here that we could get into. The corpse of a mossy vagabond overcome with infection. Blazing bright. I gotta remember to use this more. Light. Bright. Light. Well, I can't break it. Well, I guess we'll have to figure out another way in. Maybe that is the way in, but right now... Uh, I want to go find the, what is it called, the Deep Hunter? I went the wrong way. Shoot. Part of the reason why I haven't been using the Dream Nail is... Because... Wait, can I use the Dream Nail on the corpse? No. Dang. Yeah, part of the reason why I haven't been using the Dream Nail is because I suck at timing it. It's a charge up. If I could just swing the Dream Nail and see what people's, uh... Like thoughts were, I'd be down for it. That sounded kind of weird. Um, but unfortunately, using the dream nail requires a bit of a charge-up time. So, using it against a lot of creature types is maybe a bit more work than I'm willing to put in. It. Uh, I should anyway. I know I should. It's just uh, it's a pain. All right. Well, whatever. I'm gonna just. I'm gonna just keep dropping down as fast as I can. We're gonna take some damage here, but that's fine. Because I can just heal. Thank you, Caterpillar Grandpa, for getting through. I got a comment from somebody accusing me of cheating here. And I'm kind of confused by that, honestly. I try very hard not to cheat. Especially because, I mean, honestly for me, cheating is, uh is breaking in the game in such a way that, like, oops. Uh, you know, you using a sheet for, like, invincibility or whatever. Ah! I don't remember how to get down from here. 
I guess we gotta go this way? Yeah, this looks right. Yep. Okay. But you know, invincibility cheats, stuff like that. Uh, I, I don't consider me looking at a map. Uh, especially once I've already spent, like, hours on this game. Uh, to try and, like, speed things along a little bit. I don't quite consider that cheating, and maybe, maybe that is. Though I'm trying very hard to avoid looking at any kind of map here. Oh, it's this guy! Hello, hello! What a thrill this is, to find such warm comfort amidst, amidst the den of beasts. This ferocious place, no doubt. Supposedly there's a village deep in the Warren. Its inhabitants never accepted ha Hallownest's king. Why not join me for a time? These waters do wonder for weary legs. Oh, we're full up. Okay, so we're here. This isn't the hot spring that we're looking for, though. Which sucks. Uh, supposedly you can find the banker lady. Supposedly you can find the banker- nope, that's not it. I might as well heal. Sp Spider... Mahamana. Ain't coming my way easily. Okay. Getting like non-stop friend requests on Steam here. Oh. Wow. Yeah, go figure I haven't found the deep nest boss yet. It's right here. Yeah, go freaking figure I didn't see that wall earlier. Okay, well, we're making progress. Oh. These things are adorable. Um. Is that it? No. Of course it's not. Yeah. Okay, I was wondering about that. Alright, uh, let's see. So, we're here. Really? That wasn't a drop-off point. Okay, this is fascinating. What? What? He's not gonna be there, is he? Yeah, he's not there this time around. Okay. Well, isn't that freaky? So we've got a, uh... We've got a doppelganger. Hanging out around here. Busted walls. It doesn't look like there's much else. Now this is different. It'd be neat if I could actually talk and, and or interact with it. We'll probably get that chance, maybe? Here, let's try going down first. Yep. Had a reason to do so. Doesn't look like we've got a reason to go that way. Unfortunately, uh, Geo at this point has become kind of moot. Oh, hey, shortcut. Nice. Yeah, before I fight the boss at, at the end of this, because it's absolutely going to be a boss, might as well check it out. See if there's anything around here. So is this the thing that we talked to that one time that tried to eat us, or is it something different? I have no idea. Oh. Okay. I don't like this thing. Nosk. Okay. Oh, good time to heal. I don't know what its deal is. Okay. Jumping all over the place. I'm just taking hits. Okay. I'm gonna let it charge, then we heal. Okay. Oh, I should have not have had buttered rice. 
Well, I take the hit. Okay, if he's going to be jumping like that, maybe I can just hide right here. Because <sighs> there's a there's a bit of a gap there. Ah. Okay, now we heal. Okay, good time for healing. Good time for having a double jump. Nope. Ow. I think the place to hang out is right here. Okay. Yeah, so he's got kind of a basic pattern, actually. Which is kind of appreciated. Okay, so he's gonna charge. As long as I don't hang out right where he charges or lands or whatever. Oh, he gets faster. Okay. Okay, he gets a lot faster. His jumps are getting erratic here, but he's gone. Okay, cool. Oh, this is a bad time to have slightly buttery hands. Oh, I knew I shouldn't have done that. I'm a dunce. Alright. Is there anything I can do with the broken mask? It's interesting that it's us. Unfortunately, I don't seem to be breaking it. I can just juggle it here. Which is kind of amusing, don't get me wrong. You'd think it would break after a while, but no dice. Yeah. I can't even do, like, a charged up attack. Oh! I didn't know you could move while charging an attack! Holy crap, that's actually super useful, that's... That's... that's a Mega Man thing. Oh! So I can... I can charge. And, okay. Well, now I know. I can use the, uh, special moves more often. And there's our Deep Nest Pale Ore. Nice! Okay. So now that we've defeated him, I guess we get back up to the surface. Yeah, where do we even go? We're down here. I guess... We did... Why is that one... Bench rumbling? Is that normal? Dude, go check it out. Kind of wanna. How far is it? Is it still rumbling? Is it cause it, oh, it's because there's two bench tokens on top of each other. Okay, so I'm not going to waste time checking it out immediately. Why am I incapable of double jumping right now? Actually, really, I've just got, uh, kind of incredible amounts of hand pain, hand pain right now. So we're, I don't know, I'm, I don't want to end this series or pause it or, all, or anything like that, but my, uh, my already kind of slightly mediocre gameplay, I'm gonna say, is gonna suffer a bit from, um, from my, uh, my ailment. I've always had a particularly crappy wrist, and uh, this week has been particularly bad. Yeah, it's just alternating between those two bench pins. That's weird. All right. Well, where do we go next? Because, okay, so if those are just vibrating, that's not anything I need to worry about. Uh, we've got a key... Somewhere in the ancient basin, we might have some more here. I could try going back to the crystal peak now that I think I do more damage. How much uh, pale ore am I packing right now? I got two. Did we need three? Or did we need five? I think we need three total, so I gotta figure out where the last one is. No, you need... I think you do need, like, three or four or five or something like that. I need a lot more than I have. Unfortunately, have not been paying full attention. 
I know you can get like six at the very least. Oh, you know what? No, it is one, two, three. You need six exactly. Okay. Uh, so I'll have to figure out where to get the last one. I don't know. I should probably leave this area. Well, let's head uh, straight to the right for the time being. Because we've got that, uh, we got that hot spring we can hang out in. This guy's gone. But yeah, this will re refresh our, uh, our little spheres. Rest here, fill in the map. Okay, yep, so there's the... that was where Knox was. So we've got this area over here. I want to go double check it for a second. Worst comes to worst, we head to the, head back to the ancient basin for a moment. Okay, I gotta adjust my brace here. Maybe having it tighter will help. Yeah, it seems like it. Okay. Well, I guess I can always just boost fly across. Do we want to go down? Yeah, we do want to go down. We could go to the tram, we could figure that out. I was figuring we'd... Swing by here. Did I ever go down to the, like, the lower section? Can I? Yeah, so I'm not able to get past that for the time being. So whatever, whatever this lower section is, is also blocked off given the... Given my current limitations. There's got to be a way to progress past that, but I don't know where. Okay, so now that now that we've kind of cleared this place out, where do we go? Let's let's check our map. I kind of just want to leave, but we might actually be done with this area. Then I think we, now that I'm thinking about it, no, we're not quite done yet. We do have a warrior's grave. Okay, you know what? For the sake of completionism, let's actually head let's head over there and kill him. I'm. Ideally, like, I'm not a fan of sticking around here, honestly, but ideally if we could get it to the point where, um, we'd never have to come back to Deep Nest again, I would be I, I would be happy about that. That would be, that would be appreciated. Let's see, I think we just want to go this way. We'll turn into spiders, but like, oh, those guys take more than one hit. Okay, good to know. Because these guys only take one to eliminate for the time being. So, yeah, we want to go over, down, up, and around. I mean, nice thing is, I've got double jump, I've got dash, I've got a lot of things. It'd be nice if there's like a slow slide or whatever that I could, like, engage somehow. Or not a slow slide, a slow fall. Because we kind of have slow slide already. Alright, so we want to go up here. Let's take these guys out. They'll turn into horror spiders, I guarantee it. I don't think there's anything particularly useful there. Okay, these guys take two hits. But that's fine. So yeah, let's, let's just go up. And let's deal with that warrior grave. Because I was holding off on it, uh, largely because we needed uh, more damage, and because I'm a wuss. But now that I'm less of a wuss, maybe we can do it. Oh, I might even be able to get some temp hearts here, if we're lucky. Let's just hope that this guy isn't like, ass, kick ass kicker supreme nuts. What does he say? Oh, a fellow warrior out here. Thought I was the only one brave enough and strong enough to survive in this foul, forgotten pit. I'm Galeon, the strongest warrior in, the, in Hollow Nest. I came to this monstrous place to test my strength. No doubt you wish to test your might as well, hmm? Yes, you and I are a rare breed, quite unlike this poor fellow who has fallen before us. The world is not so kind to the, f to the weak, I fear. So then, shall we do battle? Let us test our strength in joyful combat. Let's not do it quite yet. So I can get around. We can go pick up some temp hearts. One of these things, this. There we go. So three temp hearts. It's not much, but it'll take the edge off while I learn this guy's pattern. All right.
Now, does he himself do damage to me? I have no idea. Okay. So he's got multiple things rolling around here. I'm just gonna try and keep my distance from them. I'm not sure how aggressive they are. <sighs> Took that one right in the face. And that one. Unfortunately, he's got orbs of plenty, which makes this kind of hard. Okay, stay away from bouncing madness. Okay. Did I get him? Nope. Ah, uh, it'd be nice if I could... Be nice if I could, uh... Heal here, but I don't think I'm gonna get the opportunity to. So instead of trying and failing, we're just gonna wipe him out. Alright. Unbelievable. I'm defeated at last. So this is what it feels like to be bested. So though, I'm strong, am I not? When you see our king, surely you'll tell him of my valor. Yes, he sent you here to test me, didn't he? Well, I knew he had not forgotten brave Galeon. I'm ready to join you now. Brothers, you and I, let us leave this place together. Yeah, uh, definitely holding off like this has been hugely helpful. Body of a fallen warrior. Oh, that was sad. I always feel bad for the, uh, the warriors in these areas. Okay, but yeah, looks like we're done with this place. Now, a couple of options we could... Head up, over, and around? Yeah, let's go check out the, uh, weird vibrating double, double bench situation. It'll, uh, it'll kind of put the issue to rest, seeing as I am curious about it. I think it's, I think it's just two benches, and they're doing just Funkalicious things. And this way we can loop down and around and get back to one of the stagways. Yeah, those guys are so much easier now. Holy crap. Let's see, and there's nothing here. And yeah, it's just the singular bench. It just, for whatever reason, has two tokens placed here, and they vibrate. They don't actually vibrate, but that's... That's the easiest uh, description I can possibly give it. Okay, so yeah, at this point, we just go up, and we're done. Unless I... No, I'm not done. We're going back to the ancient basin. There's a key there. Somebody was leaving that in the comments. To some small degree, this is why I kind of want to check a map. Because instead of just being like, it's in the ancient basin. It's like, yeah, okay, now I know where it is. But at the same time, that, that does make the game a little bit easy. If I just had this, like, big map open the entire time, I think I'd be, uh... I think I'd be, like, lost and confused. I'd be wandering around being like, so, I know it's, like, here, but I don't know where it is. It's just kind of marked in this, like, general location. I guess that's not actually too far from what I already do. Eh. It's just, uh... My method's a little bit more bumbly. That's not better, necessarily. Okay, well, one way or another, we're heading over to the Ancient Basin. Okay, I think I finally got my wrist brace in a position where it's not going to totally kill my hands, which is really appreciated. Ah. Uh, and one of the reasons why I want to get out of here is, uh... There's no music, period. Alright, so we're just gonna take this hit. Uh, there's no music for... For the deep nest, there's just kind of like... You know, there's like, uh, it's scary. You know, it's the, it's the violin, like the, the tremor on the violin, or whatever you want to call it. Um, uh, but it's there to add tension, which I can totally, totally... You know, accept and understand, and so on and so forth. Um, oh, right. We gotta put in the tramway. Pass along the way. Okay. Yeah, I think we want to go to the Ancient Basin. Do we check out the Hive while we're here? It might not be a bad idea to go and try the Hive. 
Though I have no idea if the hive is going to be more or less dangerous than any other place I've been to. Interesting question. Well, let me see. So we've already been here. It's got to be somewhere around here. Maybe... It's not on the other side of that door, and it's not where the king is. This is this area, comparatively, if I remember right, is one of the easiest to traverse. Because it's just a couple of rather weak enemies. There is a, uh... as an inconvenience more than anything else. It's been interesting. I've been playing Dark Souls 1 lately. Uh, with Bird. In co-op. Oh god, this game would be amazing in co-op, now that I'm thinking about it. Uh, but yeah, so I've been playing with him in co-op, which has been... Uh, really fun. But just the, like, interesting, um... Ah, uh, what do I want to say? The... Similarities? The similar emotions that are evoked between the two different... Games, I guess would be the best way to put it. You know, Dark Souls 1 and this had kind of this, like... <sighs> I forgot about these guys. Well, at least they die quick. Um, yeah. But, like, uh, it, it's this kind of, like, weird, intense feeling of isolation, desolation. Just like, um... It's bleak. I put Rain World in the same, um... I put Rain World in the same boat, but Rain World is kind of different. Rain World is more of like uh I guess Rain World is more of a uh sci-fi thing. Did I I never went down here. This has got to be where it is. Yep. Hello. And it's a simple key. Hey. Can I give him a wallop? Mine. Can I give this thing a wallop? Nope. I'm a... Dummy for missing that. Honestly. I came through and I, I guess it just must not have occurred to me to check down there. I was probably uh, tunnel visioning just trying to avoid the dudes. And I didn't even think about it. Well... I pay my price. Though, it's kind of nice coming back through here uh, with the better nail and kind of knowing patterns, because now I can just, like, ace my way past it. Yeah, I think originally when I, uh... Oh, actually, come to think of it, we can just quit to main menu. Oh, my mouse is in the way. Sorry about that. So I don't think that's been there this entire time. Um, But yeah, when I was starting this game, I had uh, floated the idea of speedrunning it as just a, like, an idle idea, because, you know... I, I've never really gotten into speedrunner culture, and it's always been like a... It's been a mild curiosity of mine. Okay, so we can go to Kingdom's Edge. Oh. That's not the hive. Where's the hive then? Or is the hive Kingdom e Kingdom's Edge? I have no idea. Um, but yeah, so I don't think I'm, I'm ever going to speedrun this game. I might come back to it at a later date and play it a second time, just just for funsies, knowing kind of what I know and where everything is, like a, a fast run-through of, of Forgotten Night. Or not Forgotten Night, Hollow Night, sorry. I saw Forgotten something or other, or Fungal. I don't know. I don't know what I was looking at. Um... Hard to say where I want to go. I mean, we could take this over and try and find the map maker. I guess we're in a decent position for dealing with it, uh, considering we're loaded with, uh, well, we've actually upgraded our nail. So yeah, let's, uh, let's throw ourselves into the, into the wilds. It's not like I have much to lose here. <laughs> 